Hi children, how are you? Hope all of you are safe. And for today, I come with a new topic and that is about the Rama Mandir which was yesterday Shankustapana was done for it. Bhumi Puja was done for it. Who is this Rama? What do you know about him? What am I going to tell about him? So, all this remains mystery. So, children, I would like to tell you the importance of Rama so that you will know the importance of this Rama Mandir which is going to be constructed in Ayodhya. So we are Indians and we should know our great epics. Okay, the Ramayana and Mahabharata are our epics and we should know the real heroes in it. So, in the Ramayanam, our hero is Lord Sri Ramachandra, who is the incarnation of Sri Mahavishnu. Okay. So, now let me tell you wh what this is the temple which was being destroyed by the Mughal emperors who came into India and in that place our government has planned to build, rebuild a temple for Lord Rama which is going to be the third largest in the world. So this is only the model of that temple children. So it is going to stay in history. Okay. Now children, who is this? This is Sri Ramachandra and Sita Devi along with all the other gods. So, you all know there is no village or town in India without the temple of Rama. So, why do people worship him as God? What is the reason for Sri Ramachandra being worshipped? as a god. So all this you should know. His life is full of principles and we learn many values from Ramayana. Ramayana itself in it consists many values. I have already told you that even the westerners, the children there are attracted towards our culture and they follow our books where our own children are forgetting and they are distracted. So children, I want the younger generations to know about our own India, our own culture our heritage which is rich than any other. So children, you all know because of Corona, even though there are a number of cases, but still we were the last to get Corona and we had that immunity power. And it was because even now so many are recovering. Why? Because we have that immunity and all this is given by our culture and our habits. And so children, it is good to know about our own history. 
So I would like to tell you about the life of Rama which is called Ramayana and the story about Sita is called Ramayana. The story about the destruction of Ravana is called Ramayana. So, the story of Rama, the story about Sita and the story about the destruction of Ravana is called Ramayana. So, children, let me go into the topic. So, what are we going to see here? Let us see. Now, he is King Dasratha. King Dasratha was the king of Kosala kingdom. He was very famous Ikshvaku king. He ruled very nicely that he was loved by his people very much. He took care of his children just like his own uh, citizens as his own children. And all the people liked him very much. So... During his reign, they were very prosperous and lived in a very healthy and good way. So, King Dasaratha was sad because he had no children. King Dasaratha had three wives, Kausalya, Sumitra and Kaikeyi. So, he was sad because not even a single queen gave him children. So, King Dasaratha performed a Yaga, Putra Kameshri Yagam, which he was helped by a Rishi called Rishyas Ringa. So, during that time, he, there, there lived a Rakshasa called Ravanasura. He was troubling everyone. He was troubling the gods. He was troubling the rishis. He was troubling everyone. So, what happened? All the gods went to the Lord Narayana and requested him to destroy the demon. So the Lord Narayana promised them that he would be born to the king Dasaratha as his son Rama and would kill the demon. So Lord Narayana asked all the Devatas to take the form of monkeys and be born on earth to help him in this life. So all the Devatas took the form of the monkey family and they helped him. So each one of them was a Amsha of the, they were their forms. Okay. Each Vanara. Each of the Vanaras. And this was because Ravana by doing penance he did penance and he was given a boon by Brahmadeva that he will not be killed by anyone. No gods and no others can kill him. So, while he was asking, he didn't ask about man and the monkeys. So, the Lord knows this and so he wanted to take the form of a human being and uh, he wanted to take the help of the monkeys in order to destroy the demon. 
because he has not asked those two because he thought human beings cannot destroy me and even the monkeys cannot destroy me so ravana did not ask he was not afraid of these people so the god wanted to take their form and kill the demon so when the king dasratha was performing the yaga what happened lord you know mahavishnu his the the snake you see around him and he himself his amsha and the amsha of adishesha his shanku and his chakram all these were took the form in the in this birth as the four brothers and they were born as children sons to king dasaratha rama lakshmana bharata shatrughna okay so all of them together were sent in the form of a paisam and this paisam was given to by the lord of the yaga that paisam was given to king dasaratha so the yagna purusha arose from the yaga and he gave the vessel which contained the paisam and it was given who took it children yes it was given to the king dasaratha and he was asked to distribute it to his three wives so this was given and what happened they were blessed with four children so king dasaratha had three wives they were kausalya sumitra and kaikeyi and all of them were blessed with children because of god's grace so before ending this episode i would like to tell you that the life of ramachandra is going to be very interesting and you will see and learn many 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 important values of life which are very very useful for the present day life so we will learn many things children let me meet you in our next class and hope all of you will like it so i am happy that i got this chance to meet you and what i think is this story you may think that your grandma is telling you so you can listen to it very interestingly so that you will be able to know many many things okay children thank you bye